Hi right, guys, what's up? It's your boy freaking Chris and yeah, we got a freaking amazing video. We got Halloween moon crab setup, tank setup, 2021. Let's freaking get into this, bro. Ah. Alright, so as you guys already know, I've been had a freaking Halloween moon crab as a pet. And I want to give it a little bit of an upgrade for its tank. And yeah, I thought, why the hell not? Actually, I'm lying. I did not think that on my own. A freaking subscriber commented on my video. And I'd be doing the recommendation, the recommend recommendations that you guys be giving me so comment down below what videos you want to see and i'll hit i'll i'll give it to you bro i swear to god i will the last few videos i've done have been all recommendations except for like a few tomorrow's video or monday's video the hell tomorrow i ain't filming junk tomorrow bro it's the weekend i'm trying to ch 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 chillax <laughs> what i was trying to say is tomorrow's video we got tomorrow's video what the hell is wrong with me stop it get some help all right friday's video we got out yeah, dude what the hell is happening seriously what is happening right now okay we got freaking halloween moon crab care video all right this is just how to set up the tank so if you're watching this in the future the care video is already up if you want more in-depth discussion about the care but this is going to be mainly about how to set up an enclosure for a halloween moon crab so if you just barely got a halloween moon crab and you're stressing because you don't know what the hell to put this thing in or if you're looking into getting a halloween moon crab and you want to freaking you you want to get it as a pet you've come to the right video now let's get into this junk real quick first things first let me take a sip of this goddamn coffee you know what i'm saying once you drink your goddamn coffee um, you're going to want to make sure that you have all the supplies that I have, or at least stuff that is used or is usable for this freaking project or whatever the hell this setup. So first thing you'd want to grab is you're going to need some substrate. I preferably one that holds in humidity, like what I have here. I have some coconut fiber. You could also use coconut husk, um, eco earth, any of that junk will be amazing. All right. Next thing you're going to need, um, Next thing you're going to need are some freaking hides, bruh. Alright, so grab your hides. You know what I'm saying? I already got my hides, alright? They're just not in frame right now. But trust me, we got that stuff. And then you're going to need some driftwood. You know what I'm saying? Get that driftwood. They love to climb. And yeah, once you got all that stuff, make sure you got some water dishes. You're going to need two water dishes. So yeah, you heard me right. Two water dishes. You're probably like, what the hell you need two water dishes for? Bruh, just trust me. You won't need two water dishes. Alright, I also suggest that you guys get a bowl. You know what I'm saying? Um, a ceramic bowl, one that will, like, not paper, you know what I'm saying? You could use disposable bowls, I guess, but I just suggest- Get the hell out! Why are we still here? Just to suffer? First and foremost, you're gonna wanna make sure that your substrate is deep, nice and deep. Uh, these crabs love a nice and deep substrate just to help when they molt, they like to bury themselves. And they also like to burrow, so yeah i prefer at least six inches of substrate minimal the more the better you know what i'm saying um if you could do one to three feet that would be freaking amazing all right but yeah i can't do no one foot or three feet I okay so i have a good enough amount of substrate as y'all can see and yeah i should probably mention that my crab is not too big at the moment it's still a little juvenile or maybe even a baby because they do get a little bit big and yeah so if you have a bigger crab, obviously scale things up a little bit more. This isn't going to be its permanent home. I am going to move it to something bigger once it gets bigger because it's only molted once with me since I've had it. But yeah, so if you have a bigger crab, just scale things up a little. But anyways, it's the same thing, you know what I'm saying? I got a bunch of freaking substrate. With the substrate, you want to make sure that it's not freaking soaking wet. Like if I squeeze it, water's not going to come out. But when I touch it, my hands are going to be a little bit wet after. So that, that's the consistency. Of substrate that you're going to want to have and if you have that consistency then you're freaking golden now i'm just going to add this guy's freaking hide you know what i'm saying let's even this out a little bit and yeah he's also going to use the substrate as a hide he's going to be making tunnels and all that good stuff don't try to make this look freaking beautiful because he's going to mess it up and just make it however the hell he wants it to be at the end of the day you know what i'm saying um he's he's a freaking he's a little tank bro your crab's going to be a little tank he's going to go along here he's going to start moving this stuff he's probably going to put it all over his hide what mine likes to do he likes to cover up his entrance for his hide 
and just have that as like his little sanctuary. Just always make sure that it's damp, obviously. They come from a tropical place, so the damper the better. You just don't want it soaked. You don't want there to be freaking water at the bottom of his enclosure. And you also don't want it to be hella dry at the bottom of his enclosure, so be careful on that. We got them, and you guys, if you remember in the beginning of the video, it hasn't been too long, hopefully, because I do tend to ramble on a lot, and like right now. Okay. Okay, so. When it comes to the water dishes, you're gonna want one main one, okay? And you're gonna want one for salt water. Okay. This one is for fresh water because they need both fresh water and salt water. They mostly need fresh water. They only need salt water when they run out, like when their salt levels are running low, I guess. That's like the best way I could put it in simple terms because I don't even fully understand the complex terms. All right, guys, believe it or not, I'm not smart. So this one, I might be having the salt water in. This one, fresh water. And yeah, they do like to soak. You want it deep enough for them to like really like submerge their body in, but you do not want it too deep because they can drown. Yes, these fools can drown. They might be crabs, but doesn't mean they freaking can breathe underwater. Oh yeah, make sure that it's not too deep because it will drown. And it'll be kind of ironic if your pet crab drowns in water. So yeah, that, that would just be embarrassing. Hopefully I didn't jinx it. But yeah, so we're gonna put that right there. And this one with the salt water, you guys are probably like, so what do I do? Just add salt and water. You can buy salt water from like Petco or wherever the hell they freaking a fish store, like all that good stuff. But save your money, guys. What the hell are you doing? Why are you buying water that adds salt? You ain't drinking it. Like what the hell? I All you gotta do, you're just gonna wanna get the water in the freaking pot like this and then add the salt and then boil it for a little bit until that salt is completely dissolved and then add it to the freaking salt water water dish oh crap and grab a teaspoon just like that you should use sea salt but i'm not 100 percent sure what type of salt this is um i'm pretty sure it, it's been harvested from the sea who the hell knows but yeah just add it in like that and yeah stir it around until it's nice and delicious. And same with this thing, you don't want it too deep. You know what I'm saying? You preferably want the salt one smaller than the fresh water one, like I have here. I'm only gonna fill it like halfway. And yeah, remember, just a teaspoon of freaking salt and some boiling hot water. And then yeah, obviously don't put it in there while the water's still boiling because like, you'll be eating crab for dinner. <laughs> okay, that was a horrible joke. <laughs> Ooh, okay, you got the water dishes, all right? You got the freaking hide. Now, if you guys were to have some driftwood, I'm actually running long driftwood, so I'm gonna be getting it probably next video that I upload about the whole, where I go more into depth about the care of the crabs, unless I die. If you guys don't see it on Monday, I probably die. Mostly I did not die, but yeah. So add some driftwood, you know what I'm saying? Make it look all nice and clean. It should be looking, oh, this junk heavy. Hi. Right. It should be looking something like this now. And yeah, if it is looking something like this, you did it good, bro. All right, so yeah, guys, this is its food dish that I have for it. And the reason why you want a food dish is just to avoid mold. All uh, right, you're gonna wanna keep this humid. Uh, they come from a freaking tropical area. And yeah, humidity plus food equals Mold. Let me just make a, de a definitive statement real quick. Mold is bad for crab. All right. Mold is bad for crab. Knowledge. They have small stomachs, guys. All right. They have really small stomachs. They have okay. the crabs. The crabs have a really small stomach. Jesus Christ. All right. Them crabs have a really small stomach. So you do not want to give them an excessive amount of food. All right. So now that you got your hive. You got your water dishes, you got your food dish. It's kind of hard to have a crab set up without a goddamn crab. Like, what the hell is that, okay? So let me go grab the crab for y'all, and yeah. yeah. He's actually being really calm. He is pinching me a little bit. It's not too bad because he is small, but once they do get bigger, their pinches can break skin. So be careful when it comes to that. And yeah, let's add him to his enclosure. So this is a closer look of his enclosure. Um, let's see if he's already gone started burrowing. No, not really. He's just scared of me. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, heating. When it comes to heating for Halloween moon crabs, you're pretty much going to need an under the tank heater, like a heat mat or some, you could either put it on the side, you know what I'm saying? You could put it on the bottom. 
anywhere you freaking want, just not on top because that would just defeat the whole purpose. If you're using a plastic container like me, don't get a heat mat because um, it'll melt the plastic. I almost burned down my house one time, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it was not good. I probably almost burned down my house about three or four times, you know? Um, I'm not even able to use the oven anymore. Your temperature gradients that you will be wanting is anywhere from 75 degrees to 90 degrees. You know what I'm saying? They're cold-blooded like freaking reptiles. Yes, crustaceans are cold-blooded like reptiles. So yeah, they're going to need to regulate their temperature however the hell they need to. They know what they're doing when it comes to that. Just know that you should be having your temperatures within that range. And if everything is good just like that, then you're freaking done. You have mastered how to build an enclosure for a Halloween moon crab and your gangster. And remember guys, there's no freaking like sticks and stuff for him to climb on because I'm broke right now and I can't afford one. So if you guys want me to like not have this ghetto freaking setup, you know what I'm saying? Look at my goddamn desk, bruh. Freaking like, comment, and subscribe, homies. Look at what what is this? <laughs>
Get away from my pinky, please. I don't mind getting pinched in the index finger, but the pinky, bro? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no.